South Africa's Tatiana Schumacher is a leading medal contender in the 100 meters and 200 meters breaststroke events at Tokyo 2020 and hopes she can end the Rainbow Nation's 21 year wait for a medal in the women's swimming events at the Summer Games. The 23 year old African champion chatted to CGTN CS Duplessis. To be honest, it, f it doesn't feel like a year just went by. So I think everyone just put 2020 aside and now we just have to focus on what's going to come. <laughs> now you haven't had much of a break uh, over December. I know normally you get a few days off. Yeah. But how's the training been and, and how's the body feeling? It is very tough. Normally I think by the end of the year we would all be very demotivated. But I think I was really motivated. I didn't mind training over the festive season. Um, it's just to get excited for next year. From before Commonwealth Games to where you are now, a couple of years have passed. How have you evolved as an, an athlete and what are some of the lessons you've taken on, on your journey building up to your first Olympics? Well, hopefully my, um, my, my talking in front of camera and stuff got better because <laughs> I know then it was very bad. <laughs> so I think in that sense, that I think improved a lot. Um, but to be honest, I, I can't imagine like three years have already passed since then. It's time has been flying. They really say take in the special moments and they weren't lying. 2000 was the last time a female swimmer for South Africa won a medal. Um, is there something in the back of your mind saying that it would be cool to rewrite the history books 20 years or 21 years later? I think so, but normally every time I go into a competition, I really don't know anything about the history or anything. I didn't know Penny Haynes never won a medal. Um, so for me, it's just trying to give my best and make my own way into the water. And somehow I surprise myself every single time I touch the wall. Having the Olympic Games postponed and now less than 200 days, Tokyo is on the cards. How are you feeling ahead of it? Are you, you, you must be bubbling, you must be excited. Yeah, um, definitely better than last year, I think. Last year was coming a bit quick. We went to the six months to go function and I was feeling a bit nervous, more scared, like if I, I felt like I wasn't ready and I thought, oh, if I could only have one more year, just to really, <laughs> this much just really set in. And I got that year, so <laughs> I cannot complain. So for me now, the Olympics, like, I'm just excited. I just want to go and race, see where I am. Um, so I'm actually not scared anymore. I'm just so excited to be part of it and get it up and done. Some nervous energy, can we yes. go with that? <laughs> What do you make of, of the IOC saying that they would like to try and vaccinate uh, athletes before yeah. the Olympics? I mean, uh, we've spoken to a few Olympians um, and they kind of feel that it's about the big picture, about maybe the health workers first and then the athletes. Yeah. What's your thoughts? No, definitely. I don't think we should be the first people to get it. But if it is something that they think um, the athletes need before we get to the village or something, then I'll definitely do it if all the athletes are doing it and we know that... Um, it's healthy to do it. You obviously say that, yes, you want to make the final, but what would it mean to come home with a medal for, for Team South Africa? It will obviously be amazing. I'd be so happy. <laughs> um, but for me, it's my first Olympics. I just want to get in the experience. Um, obviously, there's also a lot of rumors that there won't be any spectators, uh, which <laughs> will be a bit different. But yeah, I just want to go out there, swim our best times. I mean, a PB takes so long for a swimmer to drop time. So if I could swim a PB, I'm sure I'll be able to get into the final then. And then if you have a lane, you have a chance. <laughs>